Hi everyone, this is KK6 Foxtrot Unifrom Tango with another uh, quick project. I've been swamped uh, at work so I haven't had much time to do radio projects. But what I've got here is a Kenwood uh, TMD700, which is a mobile radio. Actually, it's only the base unit, it's not the head, um, which I bought from a local ham. Uh, what happened is uh, somebody unfortunately broke into his car and stole the head, but they didn't take the... Uh, the base uh, unit um, with uh, all the important parts of the radio. So he gave it to me at a good price and I thought I'd figure out how to get this working. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there who probably have these lying around with no heads. Um, if you see one, uh, they're great, uh, great for a project. It turns out you can run these without the head and I'll show you how to do that. Um, there's not much out there on this so I thought I'd make a quick video. So anyway, the um, TMD700A is the one I've got here, and it runs uh, both 2 meters and 440, and uh, it uh, is a dual bander. So um, let me show you what the connections here are. Um, on the front of this uh, are, are actually several connections. One is for the microphone right here, microphone. Uh, this is where the head unit would normally plug in if you had one. I don't have one. Um, uh, this is a DIN connector, which is, I believe, for data. Uh, and then this is another connector. This is a, a serial port, which you can either hook a, normally you'd hook a, a GPS unit up to, um, or, or you can connect your computer. And so that's what I've got. Uh, this is a serial port, and I've got a, uh, right over here, I've actually got a tough book, which are uh, an old but very uh, useful useful uh, computer, uh, mostly because it has a, uh, a traditional serial port and not a uh, USB adapter. I find I have a lot of issues with those USB adapters. So this is the serial port output on that computer. And you can hear the, uh, vol uh, the, uh, vol uh, the squelch coming on and packets coming in. That is on 144390. Uh, which is the APRS uh, channel for um, for the U.S. 144390, and you'll see all the little packets in there. You can see, uh, for example, here W6HRO, which is the ham radio outlet in Anaheim, and that I believe is coming through a uh, an APRS repeater somewhere. Um, and uh, one of those, uh, if if you can. Uh, Interpret those packets, those are all APR packets. You could actually run this serial port right now to one of the many pieces of software which would decode that and show it on a map and, and read the values and everything else and even send, send information. Okay, so the first thing I've done here is I just turned the TNC off. And there's a, if you look down here in the left hand, this is just a serial port. Um, TNC0 turns the TNC off. A TNC1 actually turns the, the TNC on. Um, the big magic trick to getting these to work was I had to do a long reset on this, and I'm not sure exactly how long it is, but if you hold down the reset key for five or 10 seconds, um, everything comes back, and if you, if you log in with the serial port, it will actually respond. And uh, if you hit return, nothing happens. But if you hit PS, okay, I just changed the uh, frequency here so we could actually maybe uh, uh, see what's going on better here. So um, when you first turn this uh, unit on, um, it it uh, isn't clear if it's on or not. There's actually a command to turn on the unit, and if this head, uh, this uh, body is powered up, it should respond to serial port even if it's not on. So as long as there's 13 or 12 volts connected onto the power, it should respond. So if you type in something like ID, it should return the ID of the the radio. This also works on a TH7, uh, uh, I, I believe, um, and I believe it does not work on the D710 as far as I can tell from the, the few notes that are on the internet. But anyway, if you type ID, that'll tell you what radio you have if you're connected to the, and if you actually get a serial port. Now, if you, if you type junk out there, it'll send back a question mark, and that means it doesn't know what's, uh, what command it is. Um, PS tells you the status of the power supply, and to turn it on, and I'm not going to turn it off because uh, you hit PS1 and it actually turns it on if it were off. And then the whole thing is alive. If you type FQ in your serial port here, 
that tells you the current um, frequency. And you'll see there that's 146520. Um, there's, there's a bunch of commands. You're going to have to look at about four or five different web pages with different commands, but they actually all work. So theoretically, you can, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little display, and, and some of you who follow my YouTube channel have seen the, the LCD displays that you can get. Uh, also, if you look at N6QW, he, lo he loves using these uh, color TFT displays, and I'll probably use one of those uh, for this project and have a little color display which will replace uh, the head that was stolen off this uh, Kenwood TMD700. So anyway, let's uh, set the channel back to uh, APRS. And so that is uh, the APRS channel. Yeah, there you go. So right now the TNC is off. So all it does, that BY is actually telling you if, if the, uh, the head is busy. Um, I turned on somewhere along the line there's a way for you to, to get the status messages when something happens on the radio. Um, and uh, I have to go look up how I did that, but uh, BY tells you BY0, 1 is, is busy on channel 0, and BY0, 0 means it's not busy. If we turn the TNC on, we type TNC1, then the TNC is on now. And now every time a packet comes in, it's going to interpret it and spit it out. Uh, as you'd expect any TNC to do. Uh, maybe I did not turn on the TNC. Well, let's see, TNC. Oh, there we go. It takes a little while for it to, uh, to process those buffers. So we can t turn the TNC off again. Okay, so let's do this. And this, you can't transmit, of course, but this tells you, uh, you can set to any frequency. This happens to be a local police frequency. So here's a handy command, which is AG. Um, So AG is actually setting the gain. So if I want it louder, that should make it louder. If there's any traffic. So I've got another radio out in the back, uh, back of me, which you can hear. I can clonk it. I'll, I'll identify here in a second. KK6 Foxtrot Uniform Tango. So there's transmit working. So uh, you can set the frequency in it. You'll see here it switches between TX and RX on the display just to let you know what's going on. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of serial port decoding and, and sending to make this work. But uh, just an example that these uh, things, even if someone steals your head, um, or if you find these, you can, uh, you can use them. So, uh, um, you know, they're not, uh, they're not all for nothing. They're actually useful. Anyway, this is KK6 Foxtrot in from Tango, just a little look at another project.